Welcome to the Logic Series Video Tutorial Getting Started Guide. These video clips will help assist in setting up your logic system for first time use. In this section, we'll cover basic system functionality. If this switch is turned to the on position when the power cord is plugged in, the power key located on the console will light up amber and turn green when activated. If the amber light is not seen, check the circuit breaker switch located at the back of the system. To place the system in a steer position, push the left foot pedal down. To place the system in the lock position, push the right pedal down. And to unlock all wheels, press the small gray pedal between the steer and lock pedals. USB ports are located on the machine for convenient export. On the Expert Series, there are two USB ports located on the left side at the top of the system and two more are located on the back inferior portion of the machine near the main circuit breaker but on other logic systems, the location may vary. To stop the USB device before removing it from the system, press the F3 eject key on the keyboard. This will display a new menu on the monitor. Use the trackball and set keys to select the device that you wish to eject properly. A message will display when it's okay to eject this device. The CD-DVD drive is located on the right side of the system near the probe ports of the system. Use the CD-DVD player button to open when the drive is empty. When a disk is in the drive, however, you must eject this properly using the F3 key on the keyboard. Video clips and images can be written to the CD-DVD drive using this device. Probe ports are located on the front base of the console. To plug in a probe on the Expert Series, hold the probe connector in hand with the gray latch turned horizontal, insert the probe into the active probe port, and turn the gray latch vertical to lock in place. The logic system has multiple ergonomic features that can be adjusted for optimal system operation and to enhance scanning comfort. On the Expert Series, to raise and lower the system, hold the double vertical key on the front handle for electronic movement of the console. To activate floating keyboard side to side, press and hold the lock release button just left of the vertical key. Hold down for float function and release to hold the console in place. The logic monitor can be adjusted for proper ergonomic alignment. To lock or unlock the monitor, a latch is located near the base of the monitor arm. To release the articulating arm, turn the latch knob clockwise completely until the arm moves to the desired position. The monitor also tilts forward and away from the user by pushing and pulling gently. All logic systems provide foot rests on the console to enhance proper ergonomic position. On the Expert Series, to enter patient exam information into the system, press the soft key on the touchscreen that is located on the upper left-hand side of the touchscreen just below the model key. If work list is not set up, enter patient ID by setting the cursor inside the patient ID field and typing in appropriate number, last name, first name, etc. Underneath patient information, select the appropriate category type, for example, abdomen, OB, vascular, etc. And fill in the pertinent information such as LMP, EDD, gravita, para, or change fetus number. In this section, the operator initials can also be changed by selecting the down arrow to the right of the operator initial field. If work list is set up, from the patient information page, select the data transfer button on the left side of the monitor. 
Under Tasks, select Work List. Or you can select Work List from the touch screen, and you can search for a specific patient by typing in patient ID or last name, first name, to sort patient work list. Once the patient is displayed, double click the patient name or single select and select the button provided in the middle of the monitor below the patient list. This system is not set up for work list, so there's no patient information displayed here. Once all desired fields are completed, press the scan key on the left side of the touchscreen just below patient key or simply unfreeze. If the appropriate probe and exam is not active, 